to explore a little bit, you can uh, try to understand what is the accelerator, which is the detector, which is just behind the globe, which is Atlas, close to the lake. We are here. Atlas cover, you go 100 meters below the surface, and you have this huge piece of technology. And you will see a human being walking here, and you will have the, the size of the detector compared to the human being. You can see what, what is the size of the detector. So it's just uh, yeah, you, and if you want to have a bit, you can explore it. I am sure that you have no time to explore it, but uh, maybe we can speed just yeah. We are very close to the speed of light, just uh, close to the speed of light. But keep this in mind. I will show you if you have just a few minutes. There is a film into the, the exhibition, and in six minutes you will understand what we are doing here. But just to turn and to stay here and uh, from here we will have a, a good view on the show. Thank you. 
for more than a hundred nations are working at CERN on the Large Hadron Collider, the most powerful tool to study the first moments of the universe. The LHC is a circular machine of 27 kilometers circumference that accelerates billions of protons to more than 99.99% of the speed of light and can light them in four direction points. Four huge disruptors take snapshots of each collision up to 600 million per second. In these collisions, energy is transformed into particles, just like in the first fraction of a second after the Big Bang. The study of these data will soon allow us to answer some of the big questions. Will we find the reason why antimatter and matter did not destroy each other completely? Will we understand the primordial state of matter before protons and neutrons formed? Will we find the 